Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you, Cornell, and thank you, Lee. I was privileged enough to be on Lee's yacht on Sunday, and somebody asked me, are you nervous you know, for your big speech? And I said, no, because it's a labor of love. And like most labor of loves, I'm going to be really loud. It's going to last about three minutes. And I'm hoping you guys will think I'm at least average. <laughs> and if I can get that, I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> so I, I asked a, a former Innovator Award winner, and I said, you know, how do I give a great speech? Because I, I look up to you, and, and I want to know from, from a prior winner. And she said, I know it's going to be hard for you, but be humble. I was thinking, I, it's pretty humbling. This is the 10-year anniversary, and now I'm the innovator. So that's pretty humbling, I have to say. And I started to think, and I reflected. I was like, what did I have to do to get here? And I was like, I sold a half a billion room nights. It's like, that's a lot of room nights, a half a billion. So if you guys, when you want to be here, there's a goal, half a billion, 15 years, start it right now. But I think that that doesn't say the whole picture. Where you have to go back is to the 80s. Because in the 80s, I was adopted. I was adopted by two wonderful parents that are here right now. Yes. And, uh, you know, Orphan Annie, she's singing and dancing. And I didn't care for that. My parents were selling hotel rooms. And they were doing the hotel hustle. And that's what I needed, because that's where I wanted to be, because I knew I wanted to stand on this stage one day. I wanted to sell a half a billion hotel rooms. So then I thought, all right, I've got adopted by the right parents. Where do I have to go to school now? <laughs> and so I said, the hotel school, obviously. And it's the best hotel school in the world, so you can't go wrong with that. Wait, 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 I'm going to say that one more time, because I know there's more enthusiasm for the best hotel school in the world. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I love it. I love it. It took me 10 years to get here. Everybody knows how loud we were when other people were getting awards. So if we can celebrate, and we're going to celebrate a lot after this. So I hope you guys are all coming with me for the after hours presentation of this whole thing. But, it, but then it gets better. Then it gets better. Because I needed to build my team, right? So then I met my wife, who's also here. She was beautiful, so beautiful. But to the, but the seal the deal, she worked for Hyatt. And she sold hotel rooms. I was like, all right, let's get married. You're going for this. This is going to be good stuff. And then, then I met my business partner, John Prince. And uh, he was working for IBM slash Skynet at the time. And I said, no, 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 you don't need to build the evil cyborgs that are going to destroy the human race. Let's build the robot that's going to bring people together. And he said, all right, I'm sold. So John Prince is in the room as well. And then we got started. We got started. But, but then it's a long haul. Like, you build the team, and you just get started. And it, it, as Arnie said, you know, he, you just took a check. That's the easy part. Now we got to do the hard part. And it's, it's the day-to-day -day grind that makes, makes every difference. And so for me, on a day-to-day, -day, I live by four simple rules. And uh, you know, I call it the, the four Cs of, of becoming a diamond. So you know you got color, cut, clarity, and carrot. At least any of you guys who are married know you have that. And you've all you know, gotten that lecture of well, why these things are important. So I have my four Cs of life. And the first one is calories. You got to wake up early in the morning, and you got to burn those calories. So the doctors say you got it. You got to burn those calories. That's the first part. Second part, C, you need charity. You got to do something good for somebody else, whether it's just put a little money in the jar for something, or do a carpool, or call your mom. You got to do that. It's a, it's a, and the last, the, the, the third part is, the third C, is cash. You got to make that money. You got to go to work and make that money. You know you have bills to pay. You know you have kids at home. Cash is really important. So third C, cash. And the last C is contracts. You got to keep your word. Doesn't matter if someone is just a small thing, like a friend said, you know, I got a secret, don't tell anybody else. Or a big thing like, till death do us part. 
You know, that's the contracts that we make in life, and that's the foundation of what we all live for. So that's, that's my four C's of life. That's how you make your life a diamond. So hopefully we're all tonight shine bright like a diamond. I stole that from Rihanna. I admit it right now. And I'm going to end it with that, because anytime you can quote Rihanna on stage, it's a win. It's a win. <laughs> I don't want to share a room with 14 other guys. There's got to be a way for our team to travel without us sleeping on the floor. Never fear. Hotelplanner.com coordinates events of any size. We're your hotel event specialist. So do you have a secret at why Hotel Planner's group business is so effective? Uh, it's, it's great technology, but Above that, it, it's, it's even better people. So we just built a really good, dedicated team that uh, wants to see what the next generation of uh, group travel can be. 13 years of doing online group travel, and uh, a group would be 10 rooms per night or more. And we are trying to make that process as simple for uh, customers as possible. I'm talking about the power of perfect average intelligence. Simple brilliance is the concept that I'm getting at through, through this. And it's not new, it's the golden mean that Socrates and, and Aristotle talked about. I, I was adopted, I was a child on the streets living out of a car in South Central Los Angeles. So I know what it's like to feel vulnerable and scared. You know, some people say they give 110, 120%, but those people are totally crazy because what do they have, 25 hours in a day? I don't have that. Or maybe they don't sleep, but, but if they don't sleep, then they're probably a vampire. And I don't support vampire CEOs. I, I don't know if you guys do. We got enough blood suckers in this industry anyways, you know? Hotel prices through the roof. Let's talk about it with the CEO of hotelplanner.com, Tim Henschel. So are there rooms left for the big game? Well, there is. I mean, we're showing prices much lower as you're showing right now. Um, in fact, if you're willing to go uh, and drive 40 miles, you can get a room for $76. If you want to stay at Chateau Red Bull, you just buy six Red Bulls for 10 bucks and stay up all night. So that's, that's, that's a, a real good thing. Deal. <laughs> yeah. Connell's laughing. Well, one of the things we wanted to thank you for is your support of our Fairway to Wellness charity golf tournament. Uh, you're very involved in charitable organizations. Uh, did you want to add anything about that? You know, the more that we can do to, to benefit the community, the, the, the better uh, we feel uh, about, you know, um, the work that we're doing. That, it, it, that it, it's something more than, than just a paycheck. As some of you know, Cornell University is our official charity sponsor tonight. And we want to raise a little bit of money for scholarships right now. I want you to know that you're directly supporting the future leaders of this hospitality industry. I would like to thank the Academy. Um, being from the United States, I can't resist. You know, our employees are like family. And so they're on board with my mission and our mission uh, as a company to bring people together. It Hi, I'm Dylan Radigan. The world is brimming with possibilities. My team and I are always on the go, meeting new people and seeing new places. When people come together, meaningful work gets done. How do I do all this? Well, that part's easy. Hotelplanner.com. Now they always say congratulations. Work so hard, forgot how to vacation. They ain't never had the dedication. And action. There's got to be a way for us to travel without us sleeping on the floor. I said the wrong line. I meant to say our team. I have to do it again. Congratulations. Work so hard, forgot how to vacation.